Is the camera audio picking up at all or no? No, Not because it's plugged, it's plugged in, in and it's just off. See, mine isn't even that nice. Mine is just always on because it's it, like Mine cheap. used to be. Oh, well. I'm sorry. Oh, let me get cozy again. Um, Part well, three. so <laughs> my microphone, it was off and it was plugged in. So that means the camera audio didn't pick up either. And we just recorded for 35 minutes and we answered some cues. Rapid Bridge fire. version. How are you feeling? My pain's been a lot better. I've been seeing Dr. Raheem, who's a Gonstead chiropractor who's big on YouTube. He's been fixing me since about February, which seems like a long time, but not really if you compare it to the fact that this has been like- 20 years. My body overcompensating for an yeah. injury that happened over 20 years ago, supposedly. Long story short, my <laughs> posture is like 10 times better and it's just manageable. More importantly though, and this is something we discussed at length in the previous portion of this video, which you will not watch, you are mentally so much better. Honestly, you guys, I've never seen someone deal with chronic pain before? Is there an animal back there? Spider. Oh, it's Charlotte. Let her live. Um, I've never seen someone deal with chronic pain and I've been around a lot of people going through serious illnesses and injuries. I mean, basically since I've known you, you've had like little things here and there, but in the last six months, it's been like, Seven. I've seen Lily some pretty, dark places you're doing really well now oh. you're not 100 but you're so much better it, the mental aspect of everything you've had to deal with is what would really throw me for a loop it fucked me up i'd say it really did i think that's fair to say and i've been furnishing my apartment my office has made this is what it looks like so far i'll give you a little preview gorge my uh, little editing Den. layer so it's, it's your like layer dark. for effing you should like make a poster <laughs> <laughs> and I've been able to work a lot more because my back hasn't been quite as bad. Exactly. I'm trying to be a little more consistent. Like, That's I get all I got to roll and then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I ran out of things to edit. Now I have to film stuff, which did go on to a much longer tangent. Yeah. I can't believe we filmed all of that and have no audio. Anyway, That's all right. It was a practice for it. One tangent we went on was that a lot of people think that being a YouTuber is like the easiest job ever because you see these videos of us sitting and right. reading and talking and it's like, yes, this part, very not difficult at all. No, I'm barely conscious right now. Or at least for my channel, I would venture to say that the actual filming parts are the least work related right. thing that I'm doing. It's more of like a hassle to get dressed and like ready Put on makeup. to be oh on camera gosh. because I've been spending three or four days on my computer Get editing, editing. working on thumbnails and coming up with the video ideas that mm -hmm. I will eventually film, emails. I also think brand deals, like, yeah, they're crucial Amazing. because that's yeah. what is helping me pay my rent. It's not like you suddenly just like, I'm gonna post whatever I want for this. Like there's a back and forth and there's emails and there's phone calls. On the flip, like, yeah, you, this is a, this is not like, oh my gosh, the easiest job in the world, but first world probs, this is like the best job in the world because we get to be creative, work with friends, call our own shots. Yeah, I've also been editing for other people too. But you we, enjoy that. We've been doing a lot of stuff. I got it! Go watch that video too. Lily edited it. We've also had a lot of secret meetings that you know that's really obnoxious when people are like, oh, mm, there's something like a secret project that's coming up. But truly we do have a secret project that's it's actually within like the happening. next like month or so. But like the ball is rolling, things are moving, we're picking up steam. The balls are, there's balls. There's balls. Multiple balls. There's balls bouncing. <laughs> What are your roles with Clever now? Oh yeah, Clever's, Clever's back. back. Yes. Yay! It's awesome. We're so happy. Like you honestly, took four months. Didn't know if it was gonna happen, so I'm really glad. The thing we've been working on for so many years. I know it still didn't just exists. die. That said, we aren't back in the exact same capacity right. as we were before because that was full time and really time consuming, and it was a lot. And we can do all this really high quality content. More is more now. Lily, really, I thought you already quit. Are you back? I thought like because we've been in. We've been. In you've been videos. in a lot of stuff. Yes. I've been in a couple, but basically I had quit, but I had signed a freelance contract where I was gonna go back once in a while and still be on beauty break and beauty tripping and stuff. Then all that went to shit because Defy shut down. Shut down. But then this new company bought Clever. So we both actually signed freelance contracts. Mm -hmm. So we go in as talent, show up and we're like, what do you want us to do? Wear denim panties? Okay. <laughs> Literally. So Laughing. basically, we'll be going in five days over yep. the course of three months, mm -hmm. and then TBD. Been in a few times already. Yeah, so I've been she's... in a bunch of videos. It's been really fun. The videos are doing really well. Mm -hmm. You guys are loving the videos. So you'll see us in a bunch of clever stuff still, but we're not like behind the scenes making it. But it is also a lot of people. Like Jill is still there. She's still coming up with a lot of videos. Yeah. So Jill's the woman. Things in are all going great. The national treasure exists. So that's what's going on with clever. Our role is that we are talent, which is something <laughs> I never thought I would ever say. Is it so funny, you guys? Lily did not pursue it's this guys' fault and her fault. I blame all of you. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate it. That screenshot you sent me? It's you posting on Facebook and you're like, this is just the beginning. It's the first video I was ever in. What, was it like 2012? It was like 400 years ago. And now you're almost going to hit 500,000 subscribers this year at some point soon. I'm mean, subscribe. I'm so proud of you. We had a lot of people ask us about the Tati and James oh, scenario. So and sad. honestly, we're not really going to get into it. We're, it's, we're, 
it's none of our business. Like, granted, it's out in the world, and so people do have opinions, and that is their I own just think it's also still developing. You just don't know what happens behind closed doors. No matter how many receipts and things that either side, and like, I, I don't even, I'm so confused at this point. Everyone deserves a second chance, so I hope that this is an opportunity for all of us to like learn and take like something good out of it, which is possible, but it's a lot harder to do than it is to just like be like at the helm of the cancel culture. Maybe keep things to yourself. I think uh, I understand defending yourself and we talked earlier that like you, no one likes feeling misunderstood, but I also don't think it's necessary to involve a bunch of other people in your stuff. If you don't feel like, if, if you, you don't, don't have yeah. to, like I think as human being and when someone thinks that you you know have done something to them or said something about them that you've not it's the worst or you misunderstands just, your intentions right behind something or so i understand why people would want to like put their you know thoughts ideas whatever out there uh it blows my mind first of all that this is happening with like james maybe you don't consider an adult but like uh, like 20 he's turning 20 that's, yeah that's, that's birthday's coming up he's over 18 that's considered an adult when people are like very quick to react and it's like that's my opinion well this is what i think everyone's stuff is valid everyone's opinions are valid yeah. but you know focus on your own shit and stop involving other people maybe this is not to them this is just in general yeah. everyone's very quick to go to the internet as this outlet to like express yourself that doesn't mean you need to be a dick or call people out. I like to really empower the people who leave nice comments on my videos. Like, if you leave me a nice comment, I'll answer you. But even so, and I'm someone who like, I'm an, I'm an adult. Like, I've been through this rodeo for a long time. Most comments don't bother me. Literally, I had this person arguing with me. The one thing I got out of this video is that Jocelyn got a really bad nose job. And I was like, then why is my nose still crooked? Like, do you see this? And they were like, sis, you got a bad nose job. I definitely did not. This is like when people started accusing me of getting liposuction. Oh my gosh. When have either of us been off camera long enough to get, get a any surgery, done. especially a of face no surgery. surgery. Like you saw Megan's recovery. Megan's That's nose job month took like months to heal. It like, like you got a nose job? I don't know. It was the first time, it, which I was like, oh, do I have a nice nose? And then they said it was a bad job. So I was like, thanks a lot, idiot. I like, responded to one that I got yesterday because I just read, I was like, fuck you. Like guys, if I could, if I had a dollar for every time I got this comment on my videos, on other people's videos. What, that you look like Katy Perry? No. Thank you though. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry, but I liked her better when she was thick. I liked her better when she was chubby. I liked her better before. Can you imagine? But then they start with sorry. And it's usually I've had a few beers. Here's the thing. Can you imagine a world in which someone would be like, I liked you better when you were skinny? Like, yes, that's the same world we're living in. First off, you literally have always looked great, A. And even if you want to be curvy, I think that's great too. Quite honestly, I wish I had some more curves going on. You've been dealing with health problems. So like that well, is that's why- that's frustrating when I read all the eating disorder things and it's like, no, no, actually, I've just been like uh, depressed and like unable to do a lot of things. Also, mind your own fucking business. As Judy Davis would say, if you don't have anything nice to say, zip it, zip it, just zip it, zip, zip. But this comment was sorry, but I liked her better when she was thick, and I said like two C's or three. I think it was actually only one, and I was like, then that's not that's as well add a K. And my response was because they had said sorry, and I responded was like, why did you even take time to say sorry if you're gonna be a fucking asshole? Have you ever gone on someone's video and Never. been like, I liked you better before you didn't look so bad like even like right if you that? think that i'm not gonna like that's your thought you're entitled to it sure why are you sharing it why are you thinking that you put yourself on the internet you want criticism i'm no. sorry you, or people what? like you look so old or and i'm just like i am old i don't really know where we got started on that but um we love you too hate comments <laughs> scale one to ten old apartment and new apartment your old apartment is geographically desirable for me because it was very close by to my apartment for that reason i'm gonna give it a 1.5 because beyond that it was a po Oh, Literally, we haven't even talked about my landlord trying to get me to pay Stop. another four hundred dollars. Highway told, robbery. He told me to let, leave on the ship lap that yeah. the panels that Mr. Kate had, do you done, have, do you which I would have taken them if they fit somewhere here, but they're right. custom measured yeah. for that. So we have a text exchange where yes. he tells me to leave it. I was like, well, otherwise Phil could have fixed it for you. Exactly, because yeah. I already had her dad there who was doing everything for free. So then I guess he rents the apartment and texts me that oh. the girl doesn't want them. So he says that he had his guy start taking them off. What? They're taking off the drywall. No, I was like, they're no, no. literally responding. I was like, dude, they're command strip. Sends me a picture and he's like, he, and they're patching and sanding the wall. And I was like, technically he can't charge you anyways. That's what I said because I had already, you don't live there anymore. Literally it's back and forth forever. And I was, I just kept, that's not how this works, Matthew. Oh, I love that you call him Matthew. Oh, I put his name in everything just to piss him off. Yes, queen. So that place I'm, I'm giving a 1.5 based on geography. This, this place gets a, a 10. I would give it an over a 10. I'd if, say it's at an eight right now. Why? Until everyone finishes moving in. 
Oh. This goes back into what we were saying later. It's about, it's not directly about the James Tati thing, but it says, we see a lot of friendship strains on social media. Have you guys ever had a falling out with a friend that couldn't be fixed? Well, first of all, I would not post about it on social media. No. And second of all, honestly, I've never had anyone that I full on was like, I'm cutting that person out of my life mm -hmm. and never talking to them again. No. no, I've never had that either. Like, but I've just had like friendships that grow and change over the years. Like obviously like people that I knew in kindergarten, like most of them I don't know anymore. And I think that's like, obviously a very extreme example. And then you just have like friends at different stages of life. Like maybe that your job that you worked at in college, like I was a bartender, all those people I used to hang out with after work and like I still love them, but we just are at different stages of life. It's not like a dramatic thing. For the most part, I cannot think of I don't one person where I've ever had like a fight falling out where we don't talk anymore. And I will say, and I know you're the same, I do have friendships that I've had for like 20, 30 years at this point. But then like you, I think once you're an adult, especially like people I met in college or after college, those are the people, a lot of them that I feel like will be with me for the rest of my life. And then also like, once you get old guys, it just gets hard to well, manage that's, the time. Everyone has their own lives. And I wanna and like see like, my mom, yeah. you know? <laughs> There's different types of friends that like, some people, if you don't keep in touch with them constantly, you might it, just fall apart yeah, you fall or apart whatever. Faster. I have friends that like, we don't talk every day but we probably talk once a month even and like literally that's like, all you need you're cool exactly. I think you just have to not have like these unrealistic expectations that you're gonna be best friends with the term best friend I think is very polarizing as well because like I have a lot of best friends I better be unrealist sorry so I'm not really <laughs> <laughs> and I'm granted I think you and I are like such close friends because we're very low maintenance friends like I don't have crazy high expectations of friendships because you also don't I personally always tell people that feel like insecure because they don't have like a girl squad or a tribe or a squ whatever you know you want to call yeah. it you don't need like 80 no. friends you just need like few that are real good friends and like real friends to you and that, then you're good you focus kind of more on yourself if you can because feeling like resentment is only gonna bother you it's like people out there that maybe you have friendships with or whatever they don't probably even know that you're resentful so you're the only person that's hurt from it find a new hobby find a way to meet new people make new friends the best way to get over a breakup is going on another date <laughs> she has to go pick up her fiance i'm a fiance now. the ring is so pretty oh my gosh it's so exciting i'm gonna be a wife yeah. my honest thoughts about your fiance oh that's great that's your question yes. what are your honest thoughts i love i love him that's my honest Do you? Good. I love him. I think he's great. He when did you first meet Chris? Like right after you had met him. Oh, what's that meeting? meeting. <laughs> and he was with two of his friends and they all came in and I was looked so gross. And I just remember walking in. Joss had been like, oh, these guys are coming in for a meeting. And I, after, you didn't tell me they were really hot. I'm like, I would have gotten ready. So then they went on a few dates and yes. she was like, I can't tell, but I think he maybe like work sound me. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Like, like, he just wants to work with me. And I'm like, didn't you just go on like a bike ride through Santa Monica with him and spend three <laughs> hours with him? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, doesn't sound like a work sound situation. And she's like, <laughs> yeah, I may be right. I'm like trying to think of timeline wise, you met him right after The Amazing Race, right? Yeah. I think I first like met him not in a meeting uh -huh, yeah. at your Amazing Race view. Oh, party at the party at, at my mom's house. house. And I remember he came up and was just, maybe I'd met him like once before or something. And that was when he was first like kind of like, really like intense. her parents hadn't met. My parents were throwing a party. I had invited him. So I had to tell them I was dating someone like three minutes before the party started. And my parents were like, thank God. Who is he? <laughs> Only way I could describe Chris is that he comes into this party, comes up, Lil, hi, nice to see you. I don't even remember what we were talking about, but asked me a very specific like follow-up question to the last time I had seen him. Yes. You were working on this last time I talked to you. Like, how's yeah. that going? And I literally was like, wait, you oh. actually listened? That's well, it was weird. like one, he listened, two, like, oh, I don't I don't even remember. Thoughtful like, question. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> caught me off guard. Literally just like the nicest, most, and he's so like genuinely like interested in what you're saying. Yes. Kind of one of those people, it's like, what are your deepest fears? Yeah, he's not a small talk person. Mm -hmm. And it's not like a weird, like he's trying to get info from you. He's just genuinely like a Curious? deep person and <laughs> wants to talk to people about things that actually matter. And he always is like a good, very good memory, a great conversationalist. Like That's I can leave him in a room with people and truly. be like, I'll be back in six hours. Oh, he's hours. not someone you need to babysit. He's like, cool, be great over here. But cool, I'll, I'll, do they have some beer? I'll hang out, sounds good. <laughs> I don't know where he So you have a good, you like him. I'm a big fan. You're a big fan. You could be ghost with us too. Thanks. That would oh, be fun. Lord. We're all dead together. Oh, years. should we actually end it on one other note? What? <laughs> For an update on the Coachella guy. Oh! Oh! Ugh. That's all I have to say. I mean, listen. I don't know. I feel like we still don't know what happened. I, still I... Have, I have a lot of questions. I have a lot. 
That's Same. Question. We talked a little bit, like immediately after, it was like, I want to see you again. We need, let's, let's meet up. Like, he yeah. lives in, um, I thought we were going to do a double date or yeah, something. He lives in San Francisco. That's yeah. not that far. He's like, I come to LA a lot. He leaves his red receipts on, which that already is like a little like, Weird. Okay. Texted him. It was like before I was uploading the vlog that he's in, but he'd already known that I was, I mean, well, I was filming it. He yeah, knew he knew that we're like YouTubers somewhere. and stuff. But I was double checking that he was like comfortable with it going up. Long story short, he has his it. red receipts on and I text him to see if he'll be okay with the video. And then he like doesn't read it and doesn't respond. And I was like, uh, don't really feel comfortable sending this many on red decks, but like I'm uploading it. So like, here's the link if you want to see it. And it was very sweet. I thought he looked great in the video. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think anything was weird yeah. or creepy or negative. Like I wasn't trying to be like, look at my new boyfriend. Like, we were joking. He was your it wasn't, boyfriend, but that's like a joke. It, exactly. Like, Next thing I know, he doesn't read them, and I'm like, okay, well, must have turned his red receipts off. No, no. He just didn't read them for over five days. And I'm like, that's fucking weird. I wonder if something happened. No, I've talked to him since, but he'll like text me something and I'll respond. And then he doesn't respond for like two more days. And I'm like, I don't have time for this shit. He's like, that on my phone, better in person with like a wink. And I'm like, Okay, well then, bye, I guess. I was like, so when are you coming to San Francisco? I want to be like, well, maybe I would come, but when I get there, you probably won't answer your phone. Oh, Pull a go. fucking Trisha Paytas on me. We should go there and just post a bunch about it, but not contact him. You know what though? Chris is younger than me, so maybe your future boyfriend isn't born yet. I thought you were going to be like, maybe he knows maybe someone. I was like, college. no, we've already tried that. Maybe your boyfriend's in college. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining oh, me for welcome. this double Q&A. Sorry that you guys didn't get a mukbang, but we finished eating um, when the audio wasn't recording. But what I did eat was a breakfast salad covered in soy sauce, and it was cinnamon roll French toast. It was, it was kind of disgusting, but I liked it. Mine was good. Be sure to subscribe to Lily's channel because she's so close to 500,000, yeah. which is just so exciting. What should you we know, do when I hit 500? You should do that thing Shay Mitchell did where she ran naked through her neighborhood. I don't know if I want to do that. You should. I was thinking like skydiving, but I feel like that might be bad for my back. I think naked running is probably better for you. I don't know. Thank you. I hope this wasn't too boring. Um, I'll come up with an actual video idea soon. Salutations. Bye.